so freaking silly. <laughs> hey, look, another YouTube video. Well, that sucks for you. Wait, no, that would, no. Uh... That was kind of a self diss. No, it sucks for me. I hate doing this. <laughs> of course I'm kidding, but these people aren't. These are all from the subreddit. Well, that sucks. Let's check it out. Removing icicles. Right away, I mean, nothing good is gonna happen. You got anything that has to do with ice, water, it's always fucking some kind of damage, you know? I sound like a dad, don't I? Yeah, running water is great until your fucking pipe bursts and you're out $2,000 because you got mold damage. No, not for me. I don't have running water in my house. I mean, that sucks for you, but that's fucking hilarious. I'm sorry, but that is really funny. Really funny for us. Well, that rules for us. <laughs> if that was me, I would've just, I would've just stayed in that position just looking at it, like, of course. Yeah, fuck it. Why wouldn't you land there? Makes sense. Oh man, that was really funny. It like demolished that shit too. Oh, that sound, so satisfying. Oh. <laughs> I love it! That sound could be a snare in a song. I might just do that right now. I haven't made a fucking hip hop beat in forever. I don't even know how to do it anymore. Oh my God. There we go. Now we got a little beat going. Okay, so I don't know why I did this, but I just I just made a fucking sick beat out of that. I've been doing this for 10 minutes now, and I'm not done. Okay, what the fuck am I doing? I should keep filming this fucking video, huh? Sorry, Zade. I'm gonna record a vocal after, and you can use it for the outro. I just downloaded the sound of that icicle hitting that little roof and used it as a snare in this beat. Oh, fire! Okay, let's go on to the next one, shall we? I've looked at one post in 20 minutes because I spent the rest of the time making a beat. Cause I'm a douche. Not only did grandpa already have this shirt, he was wearing it when he unwrapped it. <laughs> that doesn't suck. That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. That's just a good story is what that is. That's a good laugh for the whole family, which is priceless if you really think about it. And I know that sounds corny, but that's true. That moment when he opened that and everyone was like, ah! he not only has it, he's got that shit on. That was a bonding moment for you and your whole family, and you're closer because of that. So I would say, well, that's amazing. That doesn't suck. Well, that's heartwarming, is what it is. Is there a subreddit for that? If not, we should make one, and then review it on here. Turned my back for a minute, and she peed in 20 cups of uncooked rice. <laughs> Uh, listen, as a cat dad, listen, as a cat dad, I feel you. This has happened to me. My cats have kind of, our cats, sorry. They've kind of um, like calmed down, but they used to be like food fucking crazy. They still are. Like we can't really have them around when we're cooking. And we learned that the hard way. It was one time we were like, it was like 20 minutes into, into making a salad. And this is like salad with like fresh veggies. So we're washing all the veggies, chopping them up, making a salad. The cat like jumped on it. It was like, oh, got his shit in there. <laughs> You know, and we were all like worried about germs at that time because of this cat parasite that you can get. And so we were like, oh, it's ruined. The whole, we spent like 30 minutes making this salad. The cat gets into it and it's like, oh, it's all fucked. So then, we, you know, you get Chick-fil-A or something like that, but it's not as bad as this. 20 cups of uncooked rice. At least you didn't cook 20 cups of rice, wait an hour for your rice cooker to finish. And then the cat hops in and pees in it. That would be worse. Although now you probably have to go out and get more rice. Also 20 cups of rice. 20 cups of uncooked rice is 40 cups of of cooked rice. Even if you're meal prepping, that is, how many people are you meal prepping for? That's a fuckload of rice. That's a metric 
ass ton of rice. Is this how they make yellow rice? Nice. Nice rice, Joe. Nice rice. You like ice spice, by the way? Nice rice one, ice spice. After a grueling day at work without food, where I had to wait four hours for a sample to arrive, which got canceled, I come home at 7 p.m. to find all my shit in garbage bags because the cleaners my landlord sent cleared the wrong apartment. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, this is truly the first one where I can look at that and be like, well, that sucks. Because, well, that does suck. That sucks. Oh my god. So you didn't move, and yet you have to go through half of the shittiness of moving. Because it's not only the moving part that's fucking shitty, it's the packing and the unpacking that's shitty. And now you have to do that even though you never moved ever anywhere. That is ass. That is complete booty cheeks. I'd be so pissed. That definitely fucking sucks. Yeah, there's just nothing else you can say to that. There's no witty joke. It's just that sucks. Which I guess is the beauty of this subreddit. That just sucks. I would just be fuming. I'd be so... It's just like one of those times where you're like, God, you know, sometimes life can just be a bitch. Or maybe it's a blessing, you know? Maybe you had too much stuff in your life. Stuff. Nothing good ever comes from stuff. It's time to start living like a minimalist, brother. As long as you got a cold shower, somewhere to meditate, you got a morning routine. Simple as that. The audacity of this universe. <laughs> Again, I could use that sound in a beat. <laughs> I mean, how does that, like... I, like, it only falls directly on him. I'm watering the same thing. Look at the reaction time of the dog. That was like a split fucking second and he was out of there. I mean, he still kind of kind of got hit, but compared to the guy, the guy doesn't even know it's happening still. Look at him. He hasn't changed positions yet. He's still like this and he doesn't. Look at that. Boom. He just stays like that. Just covered in soot. How did that even happen? Like, how did it break right over him? I feel like this was staged. That's fucking crazy. I would just never trust anything ever again if that happened to me. I wouldn't even go outside because I'd be like, I'm going to get struck by lightning for sure. Overnight cooker sent me this last night. <laughs> Overnight coworker. Did I say cooker? What the fuck? Brain damage. Brain damage alert. Zay, can you do that shit where you like, you know, make me all, you know, snatched? Brain damage alert. Or don't, you know, make me look like an idiot. Like usual. What even happened here? What happened? How do you even start cleaning this up? Kind of at this point, it's like an art piece. It's like a exhibit. Just leave it. People could just kind of come through and be like, hmm. Oh, yeah. It's a commentary on, on, uh, House maintenance. Mmm. Oh yeah, very, very understated. And yet, hyperbolic. It's beautiful. Alright, where are the where are the doorknobs? Bought a PS5 for my son's birthday. Someone at UPS swapped it out with a rock. Yeah, that sucks. That's that just sucks ass. These are making me kind of mad, honestly. These are like I'm feeling my blood boil a little bit. I understand this subreddit now. It's like those moments in life where you're just like, God, why did this have to happen? You're just fuming, you know? It's like I don't want to deal with this. I wanted to play PS5. Some shithead stole it. Now I gotta go through a whole thing to get it reimbursed and get it a new one shipped and time is wasted and it just for no reason bro how are the graphics though rock solid yo that shit was trash that joke was trash <laughs> that shit that shit was ass drove my 17 year old son to visit my childhood home <laughs> oh damn that shit got decimated decimated all right son you ready turn the corner and here it is Decimated! Dad, what? You lived in a pile of soil? That's so cool! Yo, guys, my dad's a squirrel! <laughs> that shit got decimated. You know, that sucks, because it's that memory, all the memories associated with that place, and even just seeing it probably brings back some of that beautiful nostalgia. And yet, it got decimated! Brain damage warning. My boyfriend told me this was just the top of his canoe when he was on his trip this weekend. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. My boyfriend told me that this was just the top of his canoe when he was... <laughs> so there's a girl on... <laughs> This has to be fake. That's a head of someone who is potentially giving head. That is really unfortunate if that's true, and that really sucks. It's just a little head, he said. Yo, that shit was actually pretty good. Ha, <laughs> ha. Well, that sucks. Trying to get some sleep when Ramstein is playing right outside three nights in a row. <laughs> I mean, you live next to a stadium, dude. Like, what? <laughs> it's 
fucking loud as shit. I gotta give you credit. That is loud as shit. That's fucking... That's headphone warning. <laughs> I live in a building right next to a stadium as well. Sports events and concerts happen all the time, and people in my building will actually call the front desk and ask the minimum wage desk staff to go ask the stadium to turn the concert music down. God damn, that sucks. You know what you're getting into if you live next to a stadium. There's a lot of benefits to it too, like walking into the fucking stadium. How do you ask a stadium to turn it down? I'm just imagining the manager of an apartment complex with the fucking keys, like walking on stage at a Ramstein concert. Hey, could you guys turn it down? We have some residents that are complaining. Could you guys turn it down? Yeah, it's the building right there. I'm the manager of it. Can you, would you turn it down, Mr. Ram? Hey, you're live. What's up? I accidentally branded Rachel Ray's name on myself with one of her roasting trays. That sucks. That actually sucks. Okay, this might be the best one yet. You gave yourself a Rachel Ray tattoo. That sucks. Oh my god. Unless you're like a huge fan of her, then it might be kind of convenient. If you were like, I was gonna get one anyways. <laughs> this is like the badass version, because it's also a scar. A brand is a tattoo and a scar combined. You ever think about that? I accidentally stabbed myself with a meat thermometer? In the head? How? He had the flu. He's just trying to check his temperature. That's probably what it was. Dude left his Tesla in a garage for a month. This happens when you leave your brand new Tesla Model S in a Turkish garage and leave it for one month. It starts rotting. What happened? <gasps> the Alcantara. <gasps> what? How? What the fuck what is the this? Fuck? Look at this. It's the cordyceps, dude. Run! My Tesla. Fuck me. He's like, fuck my Tesla. <laughs> Zombie mode activated. You know what I mean? Elon Musk, I'm gonna tag you. Bruh. Ew, ew, what is that? This happened in my car during COVID when I began working from home and it sat outside in the rain with a leaking sunroof and I didn't know about it. It must be a humid garage or something was left in the car. Ugh, fuck, this makes me feel horrible. It actually makes me think about cordyceps. At least you can enjoy the nature, watch until the end. Okay, so it's like one of these nature cooking guys. Chopping garlic, cooking meat. What is he doing here? Oh, he's, okay, he's making skewers, chopping tomatoes, making the sauce. Now he's cooking the meat, cooking the sauce, putting the meat in the sauce. You know what I'm gonna say. That's sauce. That's sauce. That actually does suck. Damn, probably so hungry too. Out there in nature, do all that work, a nice hot meal out by the river, and then God is like, not today! Well folks, those all really do suck, and my anxiety is a little bit higher than it was when I started this video. But that's what YouTube and social media is for. If your anxiety's not a little bit higher, you're not doing it right, so you're welcome. And uh, here is the beat I made with the icicle roof crashing snare. Press like on this video for me, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Knock -bye. a little icicle off.